today. One of the things that plague us all is how do you actually know if it's the time that it's over? Is this the time? How do you know which time is going to stick? Whether you're discarding them or they're discarding you. There's a lot of back and forth when you're in a relationship with a narcissist. And not just a relationship partner-wise. You can think of a friend that fits the mold of a narcissist, a family member that fits the mold of a narcissist. And there's always a lot of back and forth. And the question plagues us all. When will be the final bow out? There will be an end. So when is the final bow out? And you may not know and they may not know and you kind of truck along and you don't know. One of the things that I tend to think of is I think when it stops feeling good is, 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 is a point. Um, when you are laughing and having fun and enjoying this person and still have vital relationship moments and you are confiding in each other and going, again, it's not necessarily a relationship. So you're still having your, and you're you're having a fruitful experience. Your your soul is enriched when you're with this person. I think there's still hope there. With the narcissist relationship wise, we all have in common is that we do definitely draw, redraw our line in the sand over and over and over again because we're trying to give chances so that it does prevail. We're in love. We want it to work out. The thing that all narcissists have in common, regardless of what role they play in your life, is you'll notice that they are takers. Yes? Okay. Well, the thing about taking, 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 and taking, in my opinion, if they take more than they give, that's kind of a sign that it should be over. Maybe not right now. Maybe you've had a friend that you've had forever and you don't want to end that friendship and friendships are hard to replace. But in terms of taking versus giving, I, I think we need to watch that because I just don't think it's fair. Okay, so my take on taking is that you can take as much as you give you can require nothing more than what you give. But you cannot take more than you ever give. Now, there are ebbs and flows in relationships. I'm not saying tit for tat, you did this for me, I do that for you. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about inside, things that don't cost anything. You know, you being there for someone, them being there for you, you having honesty with somebody, you, them having honesty with you. It's a mutually beneficial give and take relationship. With the narcissist, that is something that will probably never happen. That you feel it's a fair give and take. And right now, listening to this, you're saying to yourself, you're thinking of your own relationship and you're going, for sure, yeah, your narcissist takes more than they give well and that can even be okay for a little while I can be unbalanced and give to someone who's needy for a while in in any capacity friendship narcissist family member we've all done it we've all been there and people go through needy times right there's been times that I've said to my girlfriends we all get together and I'm like okay it's gonna be unequal airtime for a little while because I need this problem solved or whatever that's not what we're talking about we're talking about a continuous basis. If you have someone in your life that takes, 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 that's called a vampire. They call them emotional vampires. That's what they call them because they take so much from us. So if you're continually redrawing your line in the sand, you want to watch that because at one point you're going to stop and you're going to go, I can't go further than this. Like I think I mentioned in my last video, you'll do anything for love, but you won't do that. You can't go further than this. And when that happens, it might be time for it to be over. When it stops feeling good, there's no more laughter. There's no more congenial visits. There's no more 
um, feeling of goodness when you're with this person. I think that that is a big sign that you are crying more than you're laughing. You're worried more than you're happy. You're scared more than you're not. I think a lot of things can lead you down to the path of what, when is it over? Now, I can tell you this. It, it may happen very suddenly even for you to accept. You might find yourself walking out on someone not planning that you were going to, and that might be it. That might be your it. And there's no big conversation, and there's no big fight, and there's no big epiphany, and there's no big anything with the person. You decide when it's over for you. That's the point that I want to make sure everyone understands. We're in control of when something is over. It doesn't have to be a mutual decision with the person that you're um, ending things with or thinking about cutting off from your life. If they are bringing you misery, if they are not being an honest person with you, if they are continually um, belittling you and making you feel like you are not worthy, these are all things that should lead you to think that this is over. It's a tough question. People go back and forth for very long periods of time. And it's tough to shed someone that you love. And when I say love, it's because we do love. I'm not going to say that the love isn't real that you might have for somebody, even if they're a narcissist. The love you have is very real of that person. That's the painful part. Our love is very real to us. So it's not easy to walk away from somebody that you have strong feelings for or history with or fun. You might still have tremendous amounts of fun with the person. But you have to isolate those periods from the consistent feeling you get from when you're with a person. If you consistently are feeling more negative than positive, that's probably a sign that it's over. That's kind of a big one, I would say. When it comes to you feel bad more than you feel good. And that's not even a bar that we want, is it? Do we want to get down to that far of a bar? Well, I only felt bad, you know, 50% today, so we're still even. 50% bad, 50% good. Like, we need to look at that, because that shouldn't be our barometer. Our barometer shouldn't be we feel good more than we feel bad. But when I say that sentence, I'm trying to explain to you that it is something you want to pay attention to. To, to, to know whether or not you're sitting in goodness or ugliness all day long in your life. It can really ill affect all other areas of your life if you are unhappy at home. And by home, I don't necessarily mean the person lives with you. At home in your life with the basics of what is happy around you, family, friends, your partner, if any of those are riddled with this narcissistic kind of relationship and they are torturing you again and again and again and dragging you through this fight, that fight, this conundrum, that argument, it can cause a toll on, wreak havoc on every other aspect of your otherwise very happy life if you don't watch that. And maybe that's a sign when it's over. When it starts leaking in and... You get to work and you're so upset because you had a fight with this person and now you can't work or you cancel lunch with your mother because you were upset and you couldn't. When it starts leaking in to other areas of our lives, now it's permeating. Now you have to pay attention to it. You really can't ignore it when it starts to ill affect other areas of your life. Because especially with a narcissistic partner, we keep that stuff secret for a long time. We don't let it affect anything else. But we can't, we can't help when it affects our mood or our inside, our sadness. That's going to come out and people are going to see it. And now it's going to start to ill affect the rest of your life. How to know when it's over is, a, is something that only you can answer. There's no magic ringing bell. 
but there is definitely a feeling inside where you're going to turn a corner and you're going to recognize it as, you know what, this just isn't worth it anymore and I'm not feeling good. I never feel good when I'm with you. I never feel good once we leave each other. If it's a friend, say, there are friends that make you feel bad every time you're with them. So why carry them forward in your life? They could be a narcissistic individual and their, their goal is to make you feel bad. So look at it all and try to make try to choose wisely. How to know when it's over? Start dissecting it and just think about things. Okay.